And now for our alumni speaker, Cynthia Perez Belathon of the Macaulay Class of 2014 at Hunter College. When Cynthia, when Cynthia graduated from Macaulay in 2014, she joined Teach for America, and then she also earned a Master of Education degree in Special Education from, from uh, Hunter College. Cynthia is currently a special education teacher in the New York City Department of Education, and she's an active member of the Macaulay alumni community. Welcome back, Cynthia. And I'm short, so I need to adjust the mic to my height. Good afternoon, family, friends, Macaulay faculty and staff, but most importantly to the class of 2019, Five years ago, I was standing on a stage much like this one giving my own graduating class's commencement speech, and I'm honored to be here again speaking to the next set of graduates. You should all be proud of yourselves. I know from my own experience that college is not easy. I came into Macaulay Honors College from a high-performing high school, and I was the first whoop, and I was the first in my immediate family of Guatemalan immigrants to attend college. I had a lot of expectations to meet, especially since I intended on being pre-med. And at first, I struggled to live up to Macaulay's high standard. I was performing poorly in my classes to the point that I became physically ill from all the stress. After I completed my first semester of Macaulay, I was put on academic probation for failing to maintain the minimum 3.3 GPA. I was in tears and terrified that I was gonna lose my scholarship and disappoint my family and friends. But that's when I learned something important. Macaulay does not let you fall through the cracks. I met with my advisor, Charlotte Glasser, sitting right over there, <laughs> every week to organize my schedule, my life, and my mind. It was through this close working relationship that I realized that I was not pre-med and decided to pursue psychology and gender studies. My newfound friends supported me with study groups and mental health breaks around the city. Other members of the Macaulay community were there to, for me to pique my interest and find the subjects I was passionate to learn about. Macaulay Honors College picked me up when I was at a low point, and as a result, I was taken off probation the next semester. I ended up graduating with a 3.84 GPA. I know some of you did hire, so congrats to you. But I could not have imagined that happening if I did not have the Macaulay community to help me. If I were at any other college, who knows if they would have cared about me, if I would have been more than just a number or a bad statistic. But that's the great thing about Macaulay. You are more than just a number. You are family. I am now finishing up my fifth year teaching, where I am teaching the next prospective class of Macaulay students in the Bronx. I am not sure if I will be a teacher for the rest of my career, but whatever my next step is, I know Macaulay Honors College has prepared me and will be there to help me and to help our future students. And although you are almost done being students at Macaulay Honors College, you are never really done with the Macaulay spirit. In fact, since the very first day that you said yes to Macaulay back in the spring of 2015, you joined a lifelong network that will forever be at your disposal and you bet that I've been using my connections to my benefit. <laughs> my friend Matthew, also from the Macaulay Hunter class of 2014, just recently graduated from the Columbia School of Dentistry and did two of my cavities for free. <laughs> <laughs> now my Macaulay family has even given me a better smile. Yeah, you can applaud for that smile. <laughs> In all seriousness, there are so many resources to your abundance, even as alumni. You are welcome to still use your campus libraries and schedule to talk to your advisors about your next steps in life. Macaulay will still be there to keep you in the know about how to get prestigious scholarships if you pursue another degree or help with finding jobs in our expanding network of professional alumni. You are even invited to help shape the future of Macaulay at the Alumni Leadership Council meetings, or even get a bite to eat at our alumni socials, because who doesn't love free food? <laughs> it's great knowing that Macaulay graduates are doctors, lawyers, actors, academics, and anyone else that we could ever want to reach out to and connect with for the rest of our lives. 
You will be those doctors, lawyers, act actors, academics, and more. Class of 2019, connect to your community, use the tools that Macaulay has given you, and take risks, because Macaulay will always be there. Thank you for being a part of our family, and congratulations.